subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasi here and in this video i am going to show you how you can deploy an open ai model on the azure platform basically azure has its own service which is called azure open ai in which you have different open ai models available so you can deploy any open ai model from that platform the advantage is that all of the OpenAI models present within the Azure OpenAI resource is that they are deployed on the Azure cloud platform. They are scalable for industry readiness and lastly they are secure as all of the data is being held by Azure so you don't have to worry about data privacy and security. Anyways let me show you how you can deploy any of these OpenAI models within the Azure ecosystem. First of all, you're going to sign in to the Microsoft Azure portal and you're going to select your resource group so that we know we are deploying the resource in the correct resource group. Here I have this resource group and you can see currently I already have an open AI uh, service or resource created. But if it is your very first time, you need to first of all make this Azure open AI resource. So for that, go to the search bar and just type Azure open AI and you're going to click and make this resource within that we can deploy different azure open ai models once created click on the azure open ai resource and here it will have a button explore azure ai foundry portal just click on it and here it will open the azure open ai portal where you can uh, play with different models and see the different models available so from here on the left, we are going to click on model catalog and here it will show you the different open AI models present on Azure open AI. So in my case, I want the GPT-4 mini model because of its pricing and performance. So I'm going to select mine. You're going to select whichever model you want to deploy. After that, it's going to give you complete details of the model that you selected. So you can read the complete details from here regarding that model. It has different resources and its last train date and the pricing. So if I click on see pricing, it will show you the complete pricing of Azure OpenAI models. So again, first of all, select your correct region. And after that, it will show if the model is available in that region, then what is its pricing. So in my case, it's GPT-4 mini with the global. So you can see the input is $0.15, the cash input is this and the output is $0.60 but this is for per 1 million token. So in basically these models, uh, token is considered any character or any space. So if I say the, it contains three characters and if it has any space that is also considered a character and that is considered a token. You can click on see more and see the details of the model ID, its availability and its life cycle. It will also show you the maximum input tokens that the model can get and the output it can produce. If you scroll down, you can view further details as well. If you want to deploy the model, click on deploy. Here a pop-up will show where you can set up different things. First of all, you can rename the deployment name so it is easy to identify in the future. After that, you can select the deployment type. Then you can also customize the deployment details like the model version. And you can also set the rate limiting as well like how much input tokens can it receive. So if you know that you're going to receive a lot of input in one prompt, then you should increase this read limiting value, which is for minute. Also, you can change the content filtering as well. After that, just click on deploy and the model will be deployed on Azure using the Azure OpenAI. Here you can see the model has been deployed successfully. It's going to give different information like the deployment info, the rate limiting, which you can also change in the future the model version, the endpoint URL and the key for the model so that you can access it from your code. So that's how simple it is to deploy an open AI model using Azure. Let me show you how you can use it in your sample Python code as well. Here I have a sample uh, collab notebook. So here you need to first of all install the open AI library with the version 0.28 then we are going to import open ai we need to give the deployment name which is basically the one that we gave when we made 
our model. So, it is going to be the one right here. After that, you need to specify the type which is Azure then you need to give the API key again that is the one that you see in the key section right here you can just copy it and paste it over there then you need to provide the open API base URL so for that you are going to go back and here you are going to have a target URI so we are just simply going to copy this whole URI here I am going to paste it and from the very last you are going to see it is going to have an API version. So, in your case you are going to copy the API version that you see. You are going to copy and paste it in the open API version variable because that is very important. Now, for the URL we are going to erase everything from the last till we see azure.com slash. So, we are going to copy this base URL and we are going to paste it. In your case it will be a little different depending on your project and resource name you are going to paste it and that is also here we specified our deployment name, URL, API key and the version. If any of these information is incorrect then you cannot access the Azure OpenAI model from your code. After that here we have a simple code which has a prompt. So, I am simply asking the Azure LLM to summarize the following text. In your case you are going to have your actual text and then where we have this try catch block we have specified the maximum tokens and temperatures. So, after that we are just simply going to run it and here you can see it has returned our response. So, basically the summarized text. So, again it will only work if you have specified the deployment name and all these things correctly. I will share this code in the video description as well. If you found this video helpful make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel and enable bell notifications. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and as always stay safe.